at Swazi and Bagana Amazing Motion Picture Interview Show! With our special guest, Kermit the Frog! Hi ho, I'm Swazi. And I'm Bagana. And it's time to stop the music. It's time to shut the lights. What are you talking about? Where's the music? Where's the lights? Uh, it's just uh, stop the music in the script. This is uh, shut the lights. Yeah, but would you turn on the lights? You do realize it's just a metaphor. Oh, a metaphor! Yeah, right. right. You know what one is, right? Uh, yeah. What is a metaphor? Uh, it's for the cows to have a place to graze. Look, I'm not in the mood. What kind of mood? Cow mood. Oh, uh, yeah, of course a cow mood. That's what they do. Ah, waka waka waka. Hmm. All right, back to it. Welcome to a very special Muppet edition of the Schwartz and Paganta interview show. Now in a moment, we're going to have an actual Ooh, and exclusive interview with the real life Kermit the Frog regarding the firing of Steve Whitmire, news that has rocked the world of countless 40-year-old shut-ins whose lives have peaked at just 10 years old. Trust me, I know. Now, like Steve Whitmire and our good friend Frank Oz, oh, who was kind enough to drop all lawsuits and charges, we too have been fired by the Muppets organization. Yeah, now most people don't realize that we got our start on Sesame Street, but was promptly dismissed. And unlike the recent firing of the original but aging cast members, it wasn't because we were too old and useless, our firing was for completely illegitimate reasons. Yeah, because if there's one thing Sesame Street has taught us, it's not not to discriminate against any group. Except the elderly. Oh, yeah. Oh, ageism. You know, it works because the victims are too old and feeble to fight back. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Bob and Grant, and your 46 years of loyalty. Hey, Andy, I actually can't remember why we got fired. Hmm, I thought it was because I murdered that blue monster that kept stealing my cookies. Nah, I think we covered that up pretty good by putting in that garbage can and burying... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe because we buried that grouchy puppet in there, too. Huh, we didn't bury a grouchy puppet. We buried a grouchy puppeteer that was in there. Oh, yeah, that puppeteer was pretty grouchy when we buried him alive. Uh, he certainly was. <laughs> you know, maybe we should watch a clip from our Sesame Street days. Shed light on why we were let go. Uh, Andy, we have our guest waiting for his intro. Eh, he was fired. He's got nothing else to do. Cut the clip. C is for coffee. That's good enough for me. C is for coffee. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no coffee in here. I hate this f street. Where's that Prairie Dawn dame with my coffee? Uh, Prairie Dawn's not an assistant. She's one of the actresses. Yeah, right, football. She's a dame, she gets my coffee. Hey guys, I just cooked the biggest chicken I ever saw. Look at the wing bone. Come, have some. It's delicious. Aw oh man, I was bummed to lose that job. You know, I really like working with those kids. I mean, I, I really liked working with those kids. Oh yeah, just like Kevin Clash. Look, Look it up. up. Hey, wait, do you think that's why we were fired? Eh, no, nah, I remember why we were fired now. It was because of that yellow egghead and I, we shared a room, and he didn't like how I slept. Oh, right, because you snore and you have those screaming night terrors. Nah, it was more about he didn't like where I slept. Where you slept? What do you mean? Yeah, well, we had bunk beds, and I like to sleep in the bottom. Oh, he wanted the bottom? Well, he had the bottom. Oh, so he was mad because you slept in his bed? Ah, uh, partially. Partially? What do you mean by partially? Hey, he was mad because I slept in the nude. Mm. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you about that myself, actually. <clears throat> Oh, right. Well, without further ado, we welcome our first pantless interview. Shorty, what are you talking about? You interview people with no pants on all the time. Yeah, but this is the first time the interview subject has had no pants. Huh, voluntarily. <laughs> that goes without saying. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Kermit the Frog. Now, Kermit, since I'm not allowed to ask you any questions about why Peter O'Toole was never a guest star on The Muppet Show, or why he couldn't even have a cameo in The Great Muppet Caper even though it took place in England. So I will ask this. Why are you the only puppeteer that was fired? After all, I think the whole lot of you should have been thrown out on the street after that horrible ABC Muppet reboot that you guys put on. I mean, really, it was one of the worst things I had ever seen. And I took acting class with Vin Diesel. Now, no offense, but it was ill-conceived, unfunny, disrespectful, and embarrassing. As the performers entrusted with such a beautiful legacy, you puppeteers should have all band together and refused to do that junk. Yet yeah, week after week, you put it on and you gave me anxiety, agita, cramps, gout, headache, the vapors, and two heart attacks. In fact, I think I'm having one right now. Whoa, whoa, wait, take it easy. I don't think that's helping. I'm not trying to help. Andy, I've done all I can. I don't think you're gonna make it this time. I got her. I got her. I gotta make it on the dungeon. I'm not done yet. Yeah? Yeah. I gotta tell this little frog what I think of him and that stupid puppet and shrimp puppet. I wanna throw it on a barbecue and burn it alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy on the little jerk. Eh. I'll teach him to ruin my childhood. Now yeah, you don't need to teach him. He took care of that on his own. Now remember, you can't go attacking the guests unless they're sexy and female. Hmm, I forgot. Now, let's get to this whole Steve Whitmire getting canned. Oh yeah, do you think he should sue Disney for arson? You dummy, arson is fire. Uh, yeah, he was fired. 
Okay, now let's settle down and get to it, okay? Let's talk about the public statements made by Steve Whitmire to Disney. Now, it's hard to believe that Whitmire's been with the Muppets for 26 years. That is hard to believe. I've never even held a job more than two days. Well, except that time I worked in the penitentiary. Oh, yeah? How long did you work there? Ah, three to five years with some time up for good behavior. <laughs> I don't even feel it no more. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> hey, we need to get back to the interview, all right? Hey, give me that note from Disney. Oh. This condemning note says, and I quote, unacceptable practices over the years. Oh, and allegations of assault, stealing, larceny, indecency, and whoa, I can't even say that one on camera. Whitmire, you, sir, disgust me. Hey, wait a minute. That's not Disney's note about Whitmire. That's your note to us. <laughs> that was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> Hey guys, can we get on with this? Hey, that ain't Kermit the Frog's voice. Oh, hey, maybe he's British. You know how those British guys can do those uh, accents. I ain't British. I just clean the puppets. Huh, how'd you end up here? I don't know. I was cleaning the inside of the puppet. All of a sudden, these dark, shadowy figures came. One big, fat one and one creepy little tiny dude. They cracked me from the back of the head. And I woke up here. Hey, ain't nobody keeping you here. You can leave whenever you want. I'm chained to the wall. We were talking to the puppet. Look, buddy, this is our last chance to interview Kermit before the next bum takes over. So if you play along, pretend you're Kermit, answer a few questions, hey, maybe we'll let you go. Yeah, it'll be like the Muppets version of David Wright Ackerson's. Look it up. Actually, don't. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Hi-ho, I'm Kermit the Frog, yo. Well, that doesn't sound anything like Jim Henson's Kermit the Frog. Yeah, you sure you aren't Steve Whitmire? You know, a lot of people have told us that we remind them of Muppets. Because you're good friends and tell corny jokes like Kermit and Fozzie? No, that's not it. Why? Because next to each other, you guys look like Kermit and Piggy? Oh, it's because we sit up in our balcony and make fun of people. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yo, are we done here? Hmm. You know, Kermit, you were done the day Henson died. Yeah, you were just hanging around way too long. Give it up, frog! Hey, you know, Andy, Disney owns the Muppets. So? So, Steve Whitmire and Disney are in this very public dispute over this whole Kermit thing. So? So, none of the other puppeteers are coming to his aid. Yeah, just like that last Muppet program, it's very unmuppet like uh, Going up against Disney so publicly, you know, he might never work again. Lucky bum! No, you dummy! Look at us, we're talking to this two-bit homeless Kermit, making fun of everything and everybody. Eh, we didn't make fun of Spielberg in that lousy Kingdom of the Crystal Skull movie in this one. Come on, we're going up against the biggest, most powerful, meanest company in the whole wide world. Why, the blacklist us, the murder us, maybe even worse. What are you saying, Schwartzy? I'm saying, this is career suicide. What if, what if, we just don't release this video? What do you think? Hmm, you know, I think it might just be the smart thing to do.